Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer for this last uh, Wednesday of April. I am the Reverend Amelia Arthur, and it is great to be here with you um, this morning. So, morning prayer is going to begin on page uh, 80. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and our readings this morning are the, a section of Psalm 119, uh, so Psalm 119 verses 49 through 72, and that begins on page... Um, 767. So, Psalm 119, beginning on page 767. And then our reading this morning, our, our um, gospel reading this morning, I should say, um, <clears throat> excuse me, is from Luke uh, chapter 6, verses 27 through 38. So Luke 6, 27 through 38, and Psalm 119, beginning with verse 49, on page 767. So I'll go back over those uh, once we get started. But it's great to be with all of you. Uh, good morning, Denise, and good morning, Susan, and good morning, Rick and Lynn Torney. Top of the morning. I love that. Um, it's great to you. Great to see all of you today. So take a moment wherever you are to center yourself and get yourself in a space to feel ready to, to pray. And uh, we will pray together um, in just a minute. So again, um, page 767 for Psalm 119 and then Luke 6. 27 through 38. <clears throat> if you are joining us for the first time and you don't have a prayer book, feel free just to listen and let the words wash over you as you start your day. Let's pray. The opening sentences for the Easter season. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Turning over to page 80. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. <clears throat> Let's say together the Jubilate on the bottom of page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Turning over to page 767, we are reading this section of Psalm 119 that begins with verse 49 and ends with verse 56. So, 767, beginning with verse 49. Let's say it together. Remember your word to your servant because you have given me hope. This is my comfort in my trouble, that your promise gives me life. 
The proud have derided me cruelly, but I have not turned from your law. When I remember your judgments of old, O oh Lord, I take great comfort. I am filled with burning rage because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been like songs to me wherever I have lived as a stranger. I remember your name in the night, O oh Lord, and dwell upon your law. This is how it has been with me because I have kept your commandments. Turning back to page 84, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading this morning comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verses 27 through 38. <clears throat> A reading from Luke. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, Pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even, for even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I was reading this passage from Luke this morning, one of the things that I was struck by is that, and this happens with me, I think often, and it probably happens with you too, but that every time I hear scripture, um, you know, we meet scripture where we are. And so one of the things I was thinking about <clears throat> when I read this passage was that in the context of where we are in life, where we are living, how we're being called to be in community with one another, particularly in such a kind of partisan and divided age, that this gospel passage to me really speaks to the hope, I guess, of what it means to live a life a little more like the way that God um, uh, encounters us as we encounter others. I think this is obviously aspirational, <clears throat> but I think that it's also true that the hardest things that we do are to love those who oppose us or who are different from us. That some of the hardest things we do are really to turn the other cheek when someone is rude or when someone is unkind, to not meet malice with malice, to not meet rudeness with rudeness. You know, there's this phrase um, that I heard one time, somebody said that everybody should live in New York once but that they should leave before it makes them hard to the world. And I think this gospel passage is kind of addressing that human tendency, right? That the world can sometimes be this hard, broken place. 
And we have a choice as followers of God how to encounter the world. We can either meet the world's hardness with hardness ourselves and just continue that cycle of brokenness, or we can choose to be different and we can choose to love and care for all those we encounter, even those for whom it's hard and even those with whom we disagree. So I wonder, as we go into the end of this week, I wonder for you who in your life it might be hard for you to encounter and how you can meet them with love, um, how you can uh, respond to them with care. And um, I wonder if for you, if doing that will indeed um, bring you closer to God and potentially closer to those people in your life. Good things to think about on this Wednesday morning. <clears throat> Turning back to the canticles. Excuse me, I've <clears throat> got some allergies going on. We're going to say canticle 19 together. It's on page 94. Canticle 19. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Turning to page 96, let's say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Let's say suffrages B together on page 98. Suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. This is the collect of the day from the fourth Sunday of Easter, the one that we just heard. O God, whose son Jesus is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. And this is the college for the renewal of life on page 99. 
O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And this is the collect for mission on the bottom of page 100. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite your prayers of intercession or thanksgiving. You are invited to say them silently or aloud wherever you are. And if you want, you can type them into the comments box and I would be happy to read them in real time. This morning, I hold in prayer particularly the family of my friend Andrew Baker, who died suddenly a week or so ago, particularly his sister Jillian, who I've known since I was in high school. What else do we pray for this morning, friends? Trusting that God hears all our prayers, the things that we have said out loud, or the things that dwell in our hearts alone. Let us say the prayer of St. Chrysostom on the top of page 102. Oh, actually, Mim, thank you. Absolutely. Prayers for um, all the people of India and for their government that they may get the COVID crisis that's happening there under control. Absolutely. Thank you, Mim. And Jim, thank you so much. Prayers for Kate Korsland as she heads into minor surgery on May 5th. And while we're naming surgeries coming up, we will keep Tom Cook in prayer as he heads into surgery for hip replacement on May 5th as well. <clears throat> Let's say together the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working us in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all for joining this morning. Good morning to uh, Linda and Anne and Jim and Katie and Mim, who I didn't get to say good morning to already, but good morning to all of you, however you are and wherever you are this morning. I hope you join us back here for Compline at 8.15 tonight, and I hope that wherever you are, you have a blessed day. Take care, everyone. <laughs>